next question. Having experienced something so unique and extraordinary, how has it affected the way you see our place in the universe? That's a good question. These are some big questions. Mm -hmm. Where's the why? I want the why. No, you don't get <laughs> the that again. Easy questions. Get that again. Um, the the place in the universe. Wow. You know, living above the atmosphere, you get this really beautiful view of space. When you're out on a spacewalk, there's no station structure. You know, most of the time our windows face Earth, and so the space station is above us when we're looking out the window. And so you can see the Earth, and then up to a certain point, and then the space station's in the way. When you're on a spacewalk. I actually saw the moon above the space station. I was like, oh, this is a view I don't get all the time. And being able to really just stare out into space, like 13 billion light years across, that sounds big. But when you look and you can actually see down at the earth, the sun comes up and you can see that beautiful color band of atmosphere and it's really small and you can see the earth, that curvature, 8,000 miles across. It seems big when you're standing on it, but when you're in space, the earth doesn't seem that big. And then you look out there and go, that sun that I can feel warming my whole suit up is just one of all of these things out there, those stars. You really feel small. To live in that middle space, I am not down there on Earth, this really special place. I'm up here in space and like to see the bigness, it just really creates this, wow, I appreciate this, it's special, but I really can't wait to be back down there, you know, <laughs> living there and, and knowing even more how special it is. At first I was like, man, it's kind of weird to think like, we are small, but not in an insignificant way. We're small, but special, super special strong in numbers <laughs> seconds away from splashdown everything nominal aboard crew dragon resilience returning to earth what were the first smells you remember when you got out of the capsule and what was it like to feel the wind for the first time after you got home oh yes to feel the wind was amazing when they opened the door and you could sense the the ocean and the, the, this new smell and that so that was the first smell was the ocean just it was clear that we were on the sea, you know, which is a place that I've spent a lot of time, almost two solid years of my life have been on the ocean. And so it was really neat to be back in that environment. And uh, I'm, I'm really glad that I felt good. That I wasn't experiencing any, any sickness or, or uh, discomfort that I could take that moment in. And so, you know, the, the small motion of the capsule and the boat and the smells and seeing all those people the smiling faces, like that whole moment was just so, so deep. But the ocean, the smell of the ocean and the, and the breeze were awesome because we didn't have that for 167 days. So it just made it super special. It's a cool smell, the first smell. 